Hey everybody, this is Matt with MattsMath.com. Thanks for joining us here today as we talk about transformations. We're going to be looking at shapes and how can we mess them up. We're going to be in the Common Core Standard of Geometry for Math and we are going to be creating and describing shapes and figures today, especially with uh, making them change and transforming them in plenty of different ways. All right? So let's get started. Our gutting question today is how can you use translations, rotations, and reflections to transform an object? First of all, we might have to figure out what those definitions mean. Well, transformation is kind of the big picture of what we're going to do with shapes. We transform them. Our first thing we're going to do is talk about translation. And notice, like, if we were going to take this transformation and move it down, you would have translations here. You've, it's a movement. That's all it is. It's strictly just a movement. It's a translation. It's a slide. If you pick, point out the S and the L there, it's a slide. Now, rotation is just that. You take the original and you rotate it around a specific fixed point or around a part of the word or object. A reflection, imagine just looking at it in the mirror, You're turning it and flipping it around. And then our last thing we're going to talk about is a dilation. A dilation, imagine if you get your eyes dilated, they get giant, the pupils get big, and they dilate small, they get big or small. Okay, so those are the four different really main things we're going to be looking at today. And you can imagine taking those transformations and putting it on a snowboard and trying to do some crazy tricks. So if you're going up and you're going to try and translate what you're really doing, you're taking that board and you're sliding it down the hill and you're moving it. And then if you wanted to rotate it, you'd flip your board around and do a 180 or a 360 or anything like that. All right? And then reflection, same thing, your mirror image. Instead of putting your left foot forward, you'd put your right foot forward. So that's how we would see transformations in the real, uh, real world, especially with snowboarding. All right, so let's look at these four different ways to transform a shape. We're going to define each of these first, and then we're going to look at them in depth. So let's just talk about the first, translation. Translation is specifically a slide along a specific surface. Okay, so like I said, you've got SL and SL and slides. So if you want to, that's a helpful hint to remember what a translation is. And it's just taking that object and moving it left, right, up, down, diagonal, whichever way along that surface. It's translated, it's moved. All right, so this is going to be another translation. Bam, we're going to move it diagonally down. Nothing terribly difficult with that, right? All right, reflection little different. We take it and we flip it along a line of reflection. So FL and reflection, FL and flip. So use those two letters in there to help you remember what they are if you're having trouble. And it's along a line of reflection. And a line of reflection is simply that. It's just that line that is in between the two shapes. This guy right here. So if I take this shape and I flip it along there, it's along this line right there. Same thing here. I take this shape, I flip it along the other side, and bam, that's my line of reflection. You'll need to know that as well, okay? Our third transformation is called a rotation. Rotation is pretty simple. It's a turn along a particular point. So I've, driven, I've drawn the point here. It's going to rotate around that point. And that particular point is called a center of rotation. So the center of rotation here is on that black dot. We're going to rotate it a little bit to the right. Bam. There it is. Okay. We've rotated along a particular point. We've turned it. Think of the T in rotation and turn. All right. Let's look at this one. We move the center of rotation further out, what happens to the shape? It moves further out. So you're taking this big old shape, moving it all the way to the right over there. Okay, that's a 90 degree angle of rotation. Imagine drawing a line from that center of the rotation to the middle of the object and then doing it again and measuring that angle. Okay, that's 90 degrees to the right or clockwise. We can also say it's 270 degrees counterclockwise. We're going backwards this way. Okay, so it's 90 degree clockwise and 270 counterclockwise backwards. We can label it either way. All right, and our last transformation is called a dilation. Dilation is kind of what we've been looking at before in terms of similar figures of shrinking and enlarging different objects. 
All right, so we take a shape like this and we make a similar shape to it. We enlarge it and we shrink it down to this little bitty baby triangle. Isn't it so cute? All right, so that's that's it. That's pretty much it with what dilation is, okay? So now we're gonna take all four of those and we're gonna look at them individually and I'm gonna ask you questions. Is this a translation? Is it not? That kind of thing, okay? So let's do it. Are these translations? Number one, from bam to bam. Is that a translation? Now, if you remember what a translation was, if you can't, SL stands for slide. So did this object only slide? Well, it did. It slid from there to there, but it did more than that. It actually just enlarged. Okay, so this is not a translation. What about this one? Bam to bam. So this sun here down to that sun. Was that a translation? Did it slide along a surface? It did. It didn't enlarge, it didn't rotate, none of that good. Okay, so just a translation. What about these ones? This triangle to that triangle. What do you think? If you said no, you're correct. That was what? It was a rotation, all right? So we actually rotated the object. Yeah, we moved it, but we also did rotate it. So it wasn't strictly a translation. Translate this shape, four units left and one unit down. So take this shape, and I want you to take it and move it four units to the left and one unit down. Can you draw it for me? Did you get it? If you're having trouble, what I would recommend is take this point, go four over, one, two, three, four, and then go one down and draw the new point. And then this point, you do the same thing, one, two, three, four, one down, and you would draw that point again. Same thing for all four points, and then you would draw and connect the dots, okay? Much easier to do it that way. All right, so here is your answers. Notice it's a slide along a surface. Take that shape, move it down. All right, reflection. Are these reflections? This pentagon to that pentagon. Is that a reflection? I've drawn the line of reflection there, but is it a reflection? No, it's really not, because imagine what it would look like. If this was a line of reflection, you've got the flat side there. Flat side should be right there. So it's not a reflection. It's just merely a translation. What about this one? You can imagine the line of reflection somewhere right in between there. You take it, fold it, flap it. It's going to be a reflection. Bam. Okay, what about this one? This is a reflection, isn't it? It's also what other kind of transformation? It's also a rotation. Imagine the center of rotation is right there. Take this shape, flip it around. All right. I want you to draw this figure and reflect it around the x-axis. What are the new coordinates? So draw this figure for me at 1, 2, put a point at 1, 2, put a point at 3, 3, and a point at 0, 4. Connect all the dots, and then would you reflect it along the x-axis? So along this axis, imagine taking it and folding the top half onto the bottom half and drawing it down here, okay? Were you able to get it? It was a triangle. Here's what it would look like. These were the new points. 1, negative 2, 3, negative 3, 0, negative 4. Notice anything about the y coordinates? Uh -huh, there they are. They're the opposite. I believe the point was originally 1, 2, this one was 3, 3, this one was 0, 4. So when you reflect something along the x-axis, all you do is make the y point, you flip it. Instead of positive, make it a negative. And if it was negative, you'd flip it to positive. And then can you imagine what would you do with the y-axis? You'd change the x. Okay? All right, rotations. We're going to look at rotations. Are these rotations? If so, please tell me the angle of rotation this triangle to this triangle. What is the angle of rotation there? Is it a rotation? I kind of give you a hint. Okay. What about these guys? Is that a rotation? If so, what's the angle of rotation? Right. This is an, a rotation. The center of rotation is right around there and it would be 270 degrees clockwise or 90 degrees counterclockwise. Here, this looks like a translation, doesn't it? 
but it's also a rotation, a rotation along the origin. So we take this rectangle, flip it up here, flip it over here again. How many degrees is that? 180. 180 degree rotation there. All right, would you draw this triangle at 1, 1, 3, 1, and 3, 4? And here's what I want you to do with it. I want you to rotate the triangle 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. So do that for me, okay? So put those three points on this graph and then rotate it 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. Remember the origin is that center of the middle of the coordinate plane. And now what I want you to do is rotate the triangle 270 degrees about the vertex A. So you, when you plot it, you're putting that first point at 1, 1, and that's where you're rotating it. Before, it was rotating it here. Here, we're going to actually rotate it around the vertex. So it's going to be touching itself right around there. All right, here we go. Here are the new points. There are the degrees. All right, and then dilations, our last transformation. We're going to talk about, are these dilations from here to here? Is that a dilation? Did it get bigger? It did. Did it stay proportional? Are they similar figures? Yeah, they are. What about these two? That rectangle, and that actually looks like a square, doesn't it? So can you shrink or enlarge this shape to get a square? You start with a rectangle and you want it to be similar. No way. Can't do that. All right, on your own, what about from this guy to this guy? Remember, dilation is also a shrinking. So as long as this shape is proportional or similar to the smaller shape, you're good to go. All right, well, that's it. Can you use translations, rotations, reflections to transform an object? I bet you can. And that's pretty much it for today as we talked about transformations. Thanks for joining us. This was Matt with MathsMath.com. Check us out on Facebook at Solving Maths Problems and on Twitter at MathsMath. And enjoy math.